Globally, we are faced with new challenges in marine environmental issues from both sea-based and land-based activities. Up to 80% of marine pollution comes from land-based human activities such as increased nutrients, wastewater, and marine litter. Marine litter, increased nutrients, and wastewater has been a complex problem affecting ecosystems, social interactions, the economy, the health, and the quality of life of the community. Indonesia is fully committed to the implementation of various environmental global agreements on the coastal and marine issues. The government of Indonesia has been implementing the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, in particular to achieve Sustainable Development Goal 14, conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas, and marine resources for sustainable development. Indonesia attaches great importance to solving the problem of marine pollution originating from land-based activities. At the 4th Intergovernmental Review Meeting IGR4, in Bali from October 31st to November 1st, 2018, the meeting successfully agreed on Bali Declaration on the Protection of the Marine Environmental from land-based activities. Indonesia emphasized the importance of resolutions on the protection of the marine environment from land-based activities. The resolutions, Protection of the Marine Environment from Land-Based Activities, adopted at the fourth session of the United Nations Environment Assembly, UNEA 4. In order to assure the commitment of the Bali Declaration on the protection of the marine environment from land-based activities to build further on the resolution on protection of the marine environment from land-based activities adopted at the fourth session of UNEA and assertively and effectively addressing regional priorities, Indonesia has established a regional capacity center for clean seas RC3S in Bali, Indonesia. The center will serve as a hub to strengthen capacity building in the field of protection of marine environment from land-based activities, in particular nutrients, wastewater, and marine litter microplastic. The center will seek to develop cooperation with relevant global and regional entities, other relevant international organizations, private sectors, and non-government organizations. The RC3S office in base in Bali, which is located strategically within a close range from the governor's office in the heart of Denpasar, to support its function and activities, RC3S equipped with office spaces and display room on the first level of the building. The office will be administered by the head of divisions, experts, and the technical staff. The purpose of RC3S is to contribute to the reduction and mitigation of land-based sources of marine pollution with particular focus on nutrient, wastewater, marine litter, and microplastics. In this respect, RC3S will follow up Bali Declaration especially in strengthen the global partnership on marine litter and microplastics, nutrient management and the wastewater initiative and the interlinkages between partnerships, improve the coordination, engagement, and support of the work with member states on marine pollution, encourage exchange of information, practical experience and scientific and technical expertise cooperative and collaborative action and partnership. The function of RC3S is to deliver public values as follows. Raise awareness among stakeholders including through development and implementation of campaigns and other relevant efforts. Enhance the capacities to decision makers across sectors as well as other stakeholders to prevent pollution of the marine environment. Assess countries on request in the development of their national capabilities to address marine pollution, provide a framework for exchange of information, experiences, tools, legal and policy frameworks, mobilize financial and other support towards implementation of the activities of the center.
The center RC3S carries out collaborations involving based on Pentahelix collaboration involving academicians, business, communities, government, and media. RC3S is expected to increase the awareness of various stakeholders through the development and implementation of programs related to marine pollution. Apparently, by doing this effort, it's expected that the sustained, clean, healthy, and beautiful environment and ecosystem in Indonesia would be maintained all the time.